second I'll discuss is the so-called V model. The V model is an adaptation of the waterfall process, which is still reasonably popular, especially if you go into systems engineering. So uh, parts where you develop software together with other components like hardware, electronics. Um, and what you have is you have the so-called, or you have the left side of the V, which is uh, pretty much like the waterfall. So you have specification activities, you have design activities, and you have implementation activities. And they are sequential, they are thought to be sequential. So you finish the specification, you finish the design, you finish the implementation, but then you have corresponding things on the right side of the V model. And that's why it's called the V model, because the shape, if you draw it properly, resembles uh, the letter V. So what happens here is we implement small units at a time, so we test them here, and that is unit testing. Then we have the design, and that has to do with breaking down the system into smaller components. So what we do here is we integrate. So we do integration testing. So instead of having just a small part of the system and we test, we put several components together and we test them together. And then at the end, we have the entire system and we do system testing. Uh, what is often also included here, I'll just write it over, is acceptance testing. Uh, more on that will come in the testing lectures, but essentially this tests the entire system. Acceptance testing is testing that is done with or by the customer. So it has much more to do with, is this acceptable, whereas the system is much closer to the requirement statements that we have. Um, and there is one thing in the V here uh, that is special in terms of the timing. It looks like we start specification, then we do design, then we do implementation, then we do this and so on. But what happens is as soon as the specification is done, we have this corresponding step on the testing side. So what happens then is actually that the planning of the system testing is starting already when this is done. So the design is not there, the implementation is not there, but you can already plan and maybe already implement uh, some kind of tests. Very often we do manual testing here. For example, you develop a car, you drive the car around and test it according to a plan. So you can start doing this plan here and the same uh, goes for the other steps. And well, as soon as you have done the implementation, you can directly start testing. So this arrow here is still in place. But essentially these testing activities are often very, very time intensive. So it's good that as soon as the specification is done, you can already start setting this up, planning this essentially. So this is a model that is uh, very much still used in practice. There are of course sometimes adaptations because of the same issues we had before. So maybe sometimes you want to go back here, uh, but you should be aware that if you go back, this actually affects these arrows as well. So if you decide to change your spec, you also have to go back and change the testing plan. Uh, so that's the V model.